Rick Grimes is here. That's the man that ended the war. Is Negan suffering? I hope he damn well is. Daryl. What is going on buddy? Welcome back to All Things Film. Today I'm here to do my breakdown of this new sneak peek we got for The Walking Dead Season 9. This was a really cool sneak peek, definitely the best we've gotten so far, and I'm going to talk all about this in this video today. Also, if you are a fan of The Walking Dead, be sure to hit the subscribe button for daily Walking Dead videos. We're less than a week away, and I'm so excited for the premiere, and we're going to have reviews and all that kind of stuff, so be sure to stay tuned for that. But other than that, let's get started. So this sneak peek is really interesting, because it opens opens up with a lot of the saviors, you know, praising Rick, especially this one guy, and then towards the end, we see the start of kind of like, I guess, the rebellion, because we see the savior save us, we are still Negan sign. I love the opening of this sneak peek, because Rick is walking into the sanctuary, and this lady says, Rick Grimes is here, and everybody starts whispering to each other, and because Rick is really a famous person now, and even the guy in the trailer that we saw, he said, bless you, Rick Grimes, over here in this sneak peek, he's saying, that's the guy who ended the war, and he's like, is Negan suffering? I sure hope he is. And the facial expression of this little girl right next to this guy is absolutely hilarious because her jaw literally drops at the sight of Rick Grimes. And that's like the perfect visual representation of somebody, you know, seeing someone famous walking down the street. They're probably going to be like, oh shit, look who it is. Like if I saw Andrew Lincoln walking down the street, my jaw is probably going to drop and I'd be like, oh shit, it's Andrew Lincoln. But that's exactly what's happening here because Rick is known as, you know, the man who stopped the war to hundreds and hundreds of people so um, I love this scene here when he's walking down you know the sanctuary and we see so many people whispering to each other and just like in awe that Rick is in their presence and then Eugene walks up to Daryl and tells him that nothing bad happened while he wasn't here so this tells me a couple things first of all it tells me that Daryl is going to be the leader of the sanctuary because Eugene is reporting back to him but also it tells me that because later on in the sneak peek we see Michonne addressing the sign that says savior save us we are still needed so I think Daryl is kind of, you know, seeing some uh, saviors rebel against him and the group. So I think he goes back to Alexandria or the hilltop and gets Rick to come here and talk to them because, you know, I don't think Daryl really likes being a leader because after that, Laura comes up to him and talks to him and she's telling Daryl that she made a list of the supplies from a hall and that Daryl should tell everybody. But Daryl says, no, I'm not going to get up on top of a stage and give a speech. And obviously he's referring to Negan because whenever Negan needed to say something he got he got up on top of that podium or whatever and he told like everybody what he needed to say so Daryl doesn't want to do anything like that so yeah I feel like Daryl is pretty stressed right now because he keeps dodging everybody like he dodged Eugene and says not now and then he told Laura he doesn't want to give the speech so I feel like he just a bit stressed because he feels like a rebellion is coming that's why he called Rick over but something else that I found interesting is that he told Laura that sorry it's a bad time right now because we, we just lost somebody out there and when Daryl says this I think he means like a worker got bit outside or something because they are doing a lot of work like outside with the crops and the rebuilding and stuff so I think when he says we lost somebody he's probably referring to like a worker or someone who got bit while working so I don't think it's gonna be anybody like major or major character or anything during the premiere so that's what he probably means when he says we lost somebody we know the crops are gonna be pretty important for the sanctuary in season 9 and this is what I think is gonna be happening here because Daryl said that the saviors have been you know painting these stuff like we are still Negan and whatever ever since the crops have been dying so that being said I feel like Daryl, you know, because remember he killed that walker that was supposed to scare away the crows. Remember, Justin and Arath, those two saviors, they put up the scarecrow type thing and they said it's to scare away the crows. Now, yes, it would work, but that's kind of the way that Negan does stuff. So maybe, you know, Daryl is killing these walkers and, you know, not letting the saviors do the way um, they want to do stuff. And then these saviors are getting pissed off and they don't really like the leadership at the sanctuary, so they want Negan back. That's what I'm thinking it's going to be happening. So maybe Daryl not allowing the crow protection from the walkers, maybe that leads to crows actually eating and destroying the crops, uh, and then, you know, that would leads the saviors to kind of rebel against Daryl and the leadership of the sanctuary, because maybe Daryl isn't doing too good of a job. But that's what I'm thinking here, but I will say, I do like how Daryl is actually pretty vocal, and I can actually kind of understand what he's saying, instead of just groaning and mumbling, and he actually has a loud voice, and he's like arguing back at people. That's a Daryl I like, and it looks like that's a Daryl that we're gonna be getting. 
exciting. I know a lot of the reviews for Season 9 have been saying that Daryl has been the best part of the premiere and the best part of Season 9 so far because he's much vocal. And that's what gets me excited for Season 9. I also love how they're using torches in the sanctuary to light up the room because remember last season and the season before, it used to be really bright in the sanctuary because they would use lights and stuff. So I love this because it actually makes sense because Angela King, you know, she said they're, they're going to be really focusing on like uh, resources this season and they know that, you know, electricity and gas and bullets, these aren't infinite amount of resources, you know, there aren't infinite amount of these kind of stuff. So I love how it actually feels like what a zombie apocalypse would feel, you know, torches lighting up the room, it's just not electricity going to waste um, in every single room. So I love that. I think season nine is off to a great start and I haven't even seen the first episode yet. So just based on these sneak peeks and promos we've been getting, I think season nine is about to be an amazing, amazing season. But I am going to wrap it up there because that is it for the sneak peek. It was an awesome sneak peek. So you guys be sure to leave your thoughts and opinions about it and season nine in the comments down below. And I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Again, thank you guys for all the support on these videos. I truly do appreciate it for daily walking that videos. Be sure to hit the subscribe button. It's been all things film and until next time, peace.